Yo, what is going on guys? Revised here. Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a, a GUI following your mouse. Like whenever you hover over a part. So this should be very simple. First off, what you're going to want to do is make your part. So maybe you have like a model. So like, <clears throat> for example, if you, uh, let me just look for some right quick. Oh wow, these reach front page. Okay. Um, so say like uh, what's something? Okay, let's just say. Let's say like if you if you wanted to hover hover over this Ropod Six, um, you wanted like to show a GUI whenever you hover over it. Well, what you would do. I'm saying show a GUI, but I mean like make a GUI follow your mouse. You know yeah like maybe make the GUI show like the actual name of like Ropod 6 or whatever the name is what you would do you make a part and you kinda just position it and uh, size it where that phone is or that model is and uh, don't make it like this don't 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 make it stick out well let's see like don't make it do that cuz you know you want the whole the whole model covered up then you would change the transparency to one and then I guess you know if you want make anchor to true can collide to false uh, and you name the model so we're going to name the model show GY so here's the part that we're gonna be hovering over then we're going to create a simple GUI so we're gonna go to screen GUI right click on screen GUI insert a text label nope yeah text label I'm just gonna kinda decorate it a little Uh, and then we're just gonna type in for the text model name I'm gonna teach you guys how to maybe make it to where if you hover oh I'm just noticing um this is act this is actually a tool and then I'm pretty sure it's unanchored yeah so since this is a tool uh, I'm just gonna make it does hold the thing anchored I don't need that I don't need that just the model okay let me just leave that for show so we're gonna make it actually get the model or the tool um, oh no 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 we can't do that because it's not actually it's not actually like if we were to do that we would put the part inside of rope the model or the tool but we're not gonna do that so never mind okay so in that case we're just gonna name it Ropod Ropod 6 it's called it looks like Ropod 6 yeah okay alright now what you wanna do okay let's actually change the text color to white point eight you're gonna do text scaled sweet okay okay now we can make visible false alright so we're gonna right click and start a GUI insert object and look for a local script okay so I'm gonna give myself some credit at the top you know Arthur fired does that's my Roblox name aka Prevised yes alright so now what we wanna do is get the client local player equals game dot oh god players not place id players dot local player then we want to get the mouse local mouse equals player gets mouse okay obj for object let's just make our code a little neat so i'm setting up some comments so local show gui um whatever your variable name is be sure to make it the name as the actual part or just saying it could be a union also show part equals and then we're gonna go find we're gonna find our part so my part is directly inside of workspace so I'm just gonna do workspace wait for a child child show GUI now I could do workspace dot show GUI but by the time the script is ran 
the show to UI might not even be there. Like that part might not even be there. So we're just going to wait for it. So that's what that wait for child is for. Now, say you have the um, show GUI inside of a model somewhere in workspace. Um, so say the model was row pod, okay? So just pretend that's a model. Then uh, show GUI is in there. You do workspace, wait for a child. Row pod, no, we want to get the exact name, row pod, that's what it's called. Then wait for a child, show GUI because it's inside. But Oh. Yeah, alright, we're gonna bring that back in workspace. Okay. Then we're going to make a comment called main. So this is the main. So we're gonna do game <coughs> get service run service dot render steps connect function alright. So now in this render step, this is gonna run every frame that our uh, every frame that our computer runs at and then we're gonna re just rename this show GUI which the local script name does not matter at all <coughs> um, and we're going to forget about this let's get the GUI so GUI GUI is it's gonna be our comment name local <coughs> you don't have to make these comments either you don't have to make those I'm just doing it for to make it a little neat Local screen GUI. Now, whatever your variable name uh, right here is, make it the same as the actual object's name. So we're going for this screen GUI. Screen GUI equals <coughs> script. So if you wonder what script is, script is the actual script that we're inside. So we're going to go script dot parent, which is going to it started GUI right now, but it's going to be the actual player GUI. So the player's player's UI, because all this right here, everything in starter UI is going to replicate, which means like clones, to every player. So, which is the player's UI. So each player's player UI. So, script dot, uh, a script dot parent. So, script dot parent dot screens UI. <coughs> okay. Um, just to be a little safe, what we're going to do is we're going to do wait for child screen GUI <clears throat> then I'm gonna put a tab right here because it's, I, I whenever I do, do things like this like with the tabbing I make it as if it's like a hierarchy so you know you got screen GUI then you got the text label inside of screen GUI so local text label equals screen GUI wait for child text label oops text label <clears throat> all right <clears throat> now what you want to do is let's make let's make some variable two variables local x so this is going to be the x position so we're going to get the mouse dot x then local y for the y position equals mouse dot y so if you're wondering why we don't we're not going to get the z well a mouse does not have a z-axis because it's not in 3D space. It's 2D. GUIs are 2D. So X is horizontal. Y is vertical, which is up and down. <clears throat> okay. Now we're going to do text label dot position. Position is a property of uh, text label or really any other GUI. Position equals udim to dot new udem2 is I believe for only GUIs so you can correct me if I'm wrong on that but <clears throat> I mean I only use them for GUIs really so okay so there's four zeros so in position as you can see there's four zeros um, I mean there could be three zeros and a one but normally whoops no let me go back and let me just change this back to zero but whenever you just create a fresh GUI, it's going to be all zeros. So we're going to want to, inside of X and Y, so these two are for the X. This is the, this is the scale. This is the offset. Now these two are for the Y right here, as you can see. 
this one's for the scale, this one's for the offset. Offset is based in pixels. So we want to get the pixels. So we're going to just type in X, okay? Because X is now mouse.x, which is the X position. Okay. Uh, okay. And then we're going to get the Y. <clears throat> I'm just going to close out all this. Goodbye, Deluxe Perestron Crown, if I said that right. I kind of wanted to get it. It was 2,000 Robux. It looked nice, but yeah. I'm not going to get it. All right, so we're not finished. We need to make an if statement. So if <clears throat> mouse.target does not equal to nil, or we could simply just say this, and mouse.target.name is equal to, and then show GUI, because that's going to be our part name. So if it's our mouse is on that part name, then we're going to do this, add that in, and we also want to make the visible true because we want to see the part, you know, it was true. Um, now else, so um, what we're going to do is actually remove this and let's put then here, okay, let's come here, make a new if statement, so if, mouse target, and then, then let's make some indents with the tab key, and then we're going to put else and add the end here so it should be set up like this if else end. <clears throat> okay so if the mouse is target dot name is equal to show GUI then we're gonna make it visible and we're gonna set the position and then we're gonna come over here and just make the visible to false and let's play and run this code as you can see Whenever we hover, it follows the mouse. Alright, so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to just mess around. I'm not so good at math. So I'm just going to mess around. So maybe if like I'm just messing around with the position and stuff, maybe you'll get an idea of what you can do. So I just changed the background transparency. So as you can see, the mouse is placed on the left, well, the, let's say the GUI's left corner is placed on the position of where the mouse is. So I'm just going to mess around <clears throat> and maybe change the anchor point of the GUI to 0.5. So it's gonna, going to maybe be the very center. So let's try this out. Yeah, as you can see, it's the very center. Um, so, yeah. Um, now, what if we want it... <clears throat> at the let's okay we're gonna go inside the code and maybe just on the maybe just mess around on the y-axis so we're gonna go y so in pixels we're gonna go we're gonna add let's add 10 pixels I have no idea if it's this if the GUI is gonna be above or below but okay uh Okay, maybe okay yeah, that's not a lot we're gonna go 100 pixels because that was just barely <clears throat> all right we should see a big difference yeah so if you want it below you know you can just maybe make it I'd say probably like maybe 50 maybe if you want it like kind of right below the mouse maybe more like 50 so you can instead of that 100 you can do 50 and then if you want it that GUI above you can do negative and let's just do 50 now <clears throat> and if you if you're watching this please be sure to subscribe and like I would highly appreciate it yep and you know that's pretty much it row pod six boy and then there we go yep and yep and now I have the object well because it's the tool anyways that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys enjoyed peace